we have set up the UV lamp in a dark corner, so you will be able to see the spots nicely. Place the plate under the UV lamp and you notice on the switch here, you can turn it on by pressing on to the short wave side or the long wave side. If the UV lamp is already not turned on, turn it on by pressing the short wave side and see what happened to the plate. Note down the observations. The plate is glowing green. You notice that there are several spots. Here is where we had the standards spotted and the last one is where you had your unknown. So from this you can see that your unknown had three standards present in it or at least it is made up of three compounds. So what you want to do is while leaving the plate under the UV lamp, mark the spots with a pencil. At this time you can touch the plate with your hand because the developing is over. So let us start marking the spots. Why am I marking the spots under the light? Because if the plate is not under the light, you do not see any spots. That is the reason why you want to make the marks while the plate is under the UV light. So this is how you see the spots for the solutions that are not colored. At least this is one of the ways in which we could also put the plate in a developing jar that has iodine in it and then see if the spots appear colored. But this is the UV light method. So here is my plate for the analgesic unknown that we just visualized under UV light. I have all the spots marked. You can see that there were three standard compounds present in the unknown. And you are going to do a confirmatory plate for this analgesic unknown in the same fashion that you did the confirmatory plate for the colored unknown in the first part of the experiment. So once finishing the confirmatory plate for the analgesic unknown and comparing the RF values, you will be able to determine what are the ingredients that are present in your analgesic unknown and thus determine whether it is exodrine or BC formula or Tylenol or what the analgesic was given to you. So you have seen how thin layer chromatography helps us determine which components are present in an unknown analgesic compound.